Today, we have some big CBDC news that all of you need to know about because CBDCs are coming all around the world and whatever country you live in, well, guess what? A digital currency is going to be rolled out in the next few years. Now, what does this have to do with XRP and Stellar Lumens XLM? Well, I'm going to show you how CBDCs connect to these cryptocurrencies in today's video and what you need to to know because there is going to be a big big warning that we're going to take a look at because jerome powell the head of the federal reserve mentioned how cbdc's are coming by 2023 and 2024 and not only that but cbdc's can be a tool to control the citizens of its country and we're gonna play you this clip from joe rogan that's very important and also there is this new proposal by the European Central Bank that will limit how much you can spend with your CBDC. Literally, they're trying to control how much money you can spend, even though it's your money. So this is very, very important. And also, the IMF chief, basically the International Monetary Fund, which is basically like a world bank. Yeah, there is a world bank, but there's something else called the IMF, which is basically also like a world bank, says how central bank digital currencies should should be used alongside social credit systems to control what people can and cannot buy. So I'm not making this up. Literally, some of the biggest heads of the biggest organizations in the world are telling you that they're trying to control what you can buy and why and when and how you can buy things. And they're telling you that this is your future. Now we're going to also the end of this video play you this clip of this lady in china that basically has everything controlled she basically cannot do anything without being spied on or basically the chinese government okay and i love people from all over the world i'm not saying this i'm not trying to spread fud about china about america about cbdc's no i'm just presenting to you the facts of what i've seen with my own research okay so do not take this with a grain of salt please watch this video with an open mind and xrp and xlm basically are two cryptocurrencies that are going to power CBDCs around the world. Like, for example, the Digital Dollar Project is partnered up with Ripple. The Digital Pound Foundation is also partnered up with Ripple Quant Network. Stellar Lumens is also powering the CBDC right now in Ukraine. Yes, Ukraine, the same country that's at war with Russia. Well, guess what? Ukraine already issued a CBDC so they can control and see where the money's going inside their country. And they're powered by Stellar Lumens X. XLM. So countries all over the world, they're already using XRP and XLM for their CBDCs. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I also saw this reports of someone mentioning how Ripple's XRP and Stellar Lumens XLM is the only cryptocurrency that is part of ISO 2022 and can work directly with CBDCs, which is true. But also, there are other cryptocurrencies. It's not just XRP. It's not just Stellar Lumens. It's also Hedera HBAR. That's why we own HBAR. Quant Network QNT. That's why it's also one of our top cryptocurrencies on our channel. But then we have Constellation DAG, XDC. We have Algorand. We have IOTA. We also have other cryptocurrencies like Cardano as well. So it's not just XLM. It's not just XRP that are going to power CBDCs all over the world. And real quick, if you like cryptocurrency, if you like money, if you like finance, make sure you subscribe. Join us. It takes one second. That's all I ask from all of you because this video is very, very important. And this is a warning to all of you. Now, first is a short 30 second clip of Jerome Powell saying how a CBDC is going to be implemented in the next year or two. So CBDCs are coming whether you like it or not. And I'm going to show you a bunch of warnings warnings that you need to know about. So also send this video to your family and friends. Let them see for themselves that a CBDC is coming. So you're not going to pay things. You're not going to pay for things with credit cards or cash anymore. It's all going to be digitally and it's going to be controlled by your government. They're going to see everywhere. They're going to see everything that you buy. They're going to see where the money's going, what you can buy. They can control your money. And that's how a CBDC is going to work. So sit back, relax, and try to enjoy because I don't know if you can, but this stressed me out. But I'm trying to present the facts to you to make you aware of what's to come. So watch this. Looking forward, rapid changes are taking place in the global monetary system that may affect the international role of the dollar in the future. Most major economies already have or are in the process of developing instant 24-7 payments. Our own FedNow service will be coming online in 2023. And in light of the tremendous growth in crypto assets and stablecoins, 
we are examining whether a U.S. central bank digital currency would improve upon what is an already safe and efficient domestic payment system. Our, as our white paper on this topic notes, a U.S. CBDC could also potentially help maintain the dollar's international standing. So some countries will issue the CBDC out of necessity to remain the number one power in the world, including the United States, because Jerome Powell said how literally a CBDC can help the United States maintain its standing as the top country in the world. So they're going to issue the CBDC whether you like it or not. Now, you might be asking yourself, why should I care, right? Why should you care about CBDC being implemented and rolled out? Well, this clip is going to answer that for you. You're going to see exactly why you should be somewhat concerned if CBDCs are used in the wrong way then it can basically control everything that you do everything that you buy CBDCs will be able to control you so sit back relax and again try to enjoy yeah I'm, I'm concerned about all that and I'm, I'm concerned about the lack of understanding that people have about the implementation of implementation of things like a digital currency that is centralized, that's controlled by the government. Right. That scares the shit out of me. Absolutely. Because that's what we're, when Maxine Waters, who has been promoting this, said that we need this to compete with China, which is so crazy. Yeah. It's like saying we need communism to compete with communism. Yeah, exactly. Because that's what it yeah. is. Yeah. If you want to compete with communists, you have to be a communist. Like what? Yeah. Like digital currency that's centralized by the state is terrifying because they'll connect it to a social credit score system. Yeah. If they connect it to a social credit score system, Tulsi Gabbard, I don't like what you said on the Joe Rogan experience. Mm -hmm. We're going to go and eliminate your ability to fly. Right. You can't fly. You can't travel. You right. can't buy gas anymore. Yeah. You can, which is what they do all in China. With, it's all within the realm of possibility. And you look at that and, you, and uh, what is the recent thing of... I think Elizabeth Warren was pushing for credit card companies to start tracking people who buy ammunition yes. and firearms and well, report Visa that to the government. This. Visa is going to change the way they categorize gun sales. So they'll put gun sales in a different realm of like just in the, of regular sales, which is to let people know like, hey, we're watching Yeah, you. exactly. Yeah. And not just because like, oh, well, I'm just curious. No. No. There's a regulatory follow-up action. Uh, to that violation of privacy. Yeah. That's crazy. So literally, the central bank digital currency will be used alongside a social credit system to control what people can and cannot buy. So if you say something wrong on the internet, if you do something wrong and a camera picks it up or they monitor your social media accounts and they know who you are, well, if you do anything wrong, you say anything wrong, that's against the narrative, okay? So it might be factually correct, but if it's against the narrative that the government wants to push out, then guess what? You will not be able to fly. You you cannot buy gas, you cannot pay for your bills, you cannot do anything really because a central bank and digital currency is controlled by a central bank and it's digital so they can control it. It's a central bank digital currency. So also, this is a perfect example of what I mean. The European Central Bank, and again, I'm not making this up, it's literally the European Central Bank has proposed this digital euro to have the following features. Users will only be allowed to spend $50, 50 euros per transaction. So you cannot spend more than 50 euros. Crazy. Users have a maximum monthly spending limit of 1,000 euros. So they do not want you to be basically free. They don't want you to travel around the world. They don't want you to do whatever you want to do because you have a $1,000, 1,000 euro limit. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Users have a limit of 50 transactions per month. Imagine, imagine, you cannot buy more than 50 things a month. You cannot pay for gas. You cannot do anything more than 50 transactions per month. Everyone, I'm not making this up. You need to pay attention to this because this is your warning. Users have a limit of digital euro holdings maximum of 3,000 euros. So you cannot have more than 3,000 euros in your account at one time. And if you do, well, guess what? They'll take the money from you. Is that the world you want to live in? Probably not. Probably not. Central bank digital euros can be programmable so that the governments or, or central banks can impose spending restrictions. So again, if they do not like a certain shop or a mom and pop shop because the person that owns that mom and pop shop said something wrong, well, guess what? Nobody in the whole city, in the whole country can spend money at that mom and pop shop. And guess what? That mom and pop shop will go bankrupt and then their whole family is basically going to be poor forever at this point. 
because they said something wrong or they did something wrong. That is the world we're heading towards. This digital euro can only be spent at government-approved merchants. Again, takes us back to the point. If the government does not like you or if you say something wrong, they can shut your shop down. They can shut your business down. Nobody can send you money. Nobody can buy things from you. Because if they do, well, guess what? Those people that buy from you will also have their money shut down. So they'll not spend money at your shop. Crazy. This digital euro can be programmable to expire within a certain amount of time. So right now, the whole world is battling inflation and inflation is going through the roof because the money supply, basically central banks have printed a lot of money. So this is a way to control inflation because they will tell you, hey, Bill, hey, Bob, hey, Jill, hey, Jane, whatever your name is. If you do not spend this money within a week from now or a month from now, guess what? Your money will expire. And this is a way for them to control inflation, to keep inflation down because they can lower the circulating supply of digital currencies easily much easier than paper money so that is a way for them to control inflation and they're gonna do it trust me they will and this digital euro will not have full an anonymity as a viable option so to anyone thinking that this digital currency will have be anonymous guess what you're wrong they will know who you are they will know where you're spending your money when you're spending your money how you're spending your money how much you're spending and why you're spending they will know everything about you with these cbdc's that are coming out very very soon so this is an example this lady right here she is a chinese citizen and they did a whole documentary about her it's two minutes so this is very important this is going to be your life whenever digital currencies come out in america or south america or europe wherever you live this is basically what you're going to have to do every time you want to buy something so again sit back relax and try to enjoy everywhere she goes oh young how you is followed what she buys, how she behaves, is tracked and scored to show how responsible and trustworthy she is. It's called the social credit system, and in one version now being tested, a person's reputation is scored on a scale of 350 to 950. And how you, with a good score of 752, is okay with it. In fact, most people are. Is that mechanism like uh, pushes you to become a better citizen? Well, obviously, she cannot say that she does not like it because if she, if she says anything <laughs> against the Chinese government. And again, I'm not trying to spread FUD about China. Like, I love a bunch of Chinese people. I've met Chinese people. I've went to school with Chinese people, and they're very good people. But obviously, this lady, she cannot say, oh, I don't like this. Because if she does, then the Chinese government will bring down her social credit score, and she will not be able to buy anything. So obviously, she's going to say, yes, I love this. This is good. Yes obviously better citizen it's big data meets big brother expanding how the government monitors understands and ultimately controls its 1.4 billion citizens thanks to advances in artificial intelligence and facial recognition and a web of more than 200 million surveillance cameras are people bothered by privacy concerns we think uh, it's a lot of camera keep the safety is uh, really good we can accept it Companies are experimenting with the algorithms to help the government create the new national social credit system. The government also has pilot projects. In one, citizens are required to do hours of unpaid work to get benefits. And scores are docked for things like littering, a messy yard, gossip, even jaywalking. Video of offenders is shown on the local news. And information collectors like Joe I. Nee are paid to report on their neighbors. Her quota, 10 entries a month. That's crazy. So literally, if you do something wrong and the camera does not pick it up, well, guess what? Your neighbor or your family members will report you because they want to also be good citizens. That is a world we are heading towards. Like the man who carried a drunk person home. A good deed, she says. Good social credit gets rewarded with perks like cheap loans and travel deals. But a bad score means public shame and worse. Huang Hui Jun lost a court case and didn't pay. Now he's on a government blacklist. I can't buy airplane or train tickets, he says, and the list goes on. Being discredited makes it hard to get a job or put kids in top schools. The social credit system will go nationwide next year, 
and few here are willing to criticize it, something that may pose a risk itself for a bad score and the life that comes with it. Janice Mackey Frayer, NBC. So, like littering, for example, messy yard, gossiping, jaywalking, I feel like those are good reasons to lower someone's social credit score. But if someone has actual concerns of the government because they believe that the government is doing something wrong and they're trying to voice that and they're trying to bring awareness to that, well, guess what? They cannot do that without having their social credit score go down. So, yes, there are some reasons why I believe it's good to lower someone's social credit score, but I believe that governments will take this out of control. Like, they're basically going to go and do whatever they want with this social credit system and lower your score for any reason, okay? If you say anything against them, well, guess what? They're going to lower your social credit score. So yes, this can be used in a good way. It can. I believe that we are heading towards a totalitarian government. I don't know if I said that properly, but it's where governments will have complete control over everything that you do, everything that you say, everything that you buy. And if you say anything against the government, well, guess what? You will not be able to buy anything anymore. And yes, this in many ways can help cryptocurrency bringing us back to XRP and XLM because CBDCs all over the world are going to be rolled out. But my main concern is that central bank digital currencies will be used to track everything that you do at any moment of any time. So this is a warning to all of you and hopefully, hopefully governments around the world do not use this technology to basically have us in a dystopian future. But I believe that that is what governments will do because they're looking at what China is doing and it's working. It's working working for China in many ways, because if you say anything against the president of Xi, Jin, Xi Jinping, and he's done a great job in terms of economic growth for the past 20 years, China has done very good things, but also they have done a lot of things that are very concerning. So yes, they've done a lot of good things, but they've done a lot of things that maybe we should not adopt. But unfortunately, I believe that governments in the United States also, Europe, Asia, they're all going to be looking at China and what they're doing and they're going to be like, okay, it's working because their GDP continues to grow. They're going to become a superpower pretty soon. So they're doing something right. So other governments will adopt that same philosophy. And unfortunately, that is why the CBDCs are going to be controlling all of you. And this is your big crypto CBDC warning.